Um, I'm here with Sherry Brown Littlejohn, um, the Head of Enterprise Architecture and IT Strategy at Wells Fargo. Sherry has just um, given a presentation on cloud strategy and delivering business value. Um, hi Sherry. Hi there. You um, touched upon the clarity between um, dev and operations mm -hmm. yeah? and you spoke about service delivery teams. Can you tell me a bit about the disconnect between dev and operations and how you're overcoming that challenge? So we are just getting started on this. We're banking on the promise of what cloud services can provide for us and cloud management can provide for us. So today we have these service delivery teams that sit in the middle. They're sort of like the middleman or middlewoman that's going between the development teams to who are saying, you know, I need to get this development or this product or this service developed and I need this kind of infrastructure and I want this kind of CPU and I want all of those things that your infrastructure team needs to know but here you have your development team dictating wanting the infrastructure team to just take some orders from them as to what it needs to be. On the other side you have your operations teams and infrastructure teams that are saying, I want to know all of this because I've got to keep this system up and available going forward. So I need to understand this information. Then you have your service delivery teams in the middle is trying to be a translator. Well, they really meant this, and this is how it has to interoperate with this, and we need to make sure that we communicate with this part of the business because this might have an impact with them. And these databases need to also be part of this. So you have this person who's in the middle who's trying to balance these two, and what you realize is if you have multiple businesses like we do, this just isn't very scalable. And it, as a result, elongates the time to get something done. So our hope with cloud computing is that we get rid of, not get rid of, it definitely becomes less of a integral part of what we need to do. And if you're able to create an environment where you have the infrastructure here and you have the developers who can now concentrate on not worrying about the environment that the application is going to, what is the application going to do for the customer, for the business, for the team member who has to use it, and the operations folks really just worrying about, is it up? Because automatically some of these things are already taken care of. I'm switching here and here based on what it needs to do. I don't have to manage this as I do today with all of the magnitudes of monitoring and tools and more and more tools that we put in place, which take up space and take much time to really manage and mitigate the risk that you have. And so if you can get rid of that and squeeze that so I can concentrate on true business value and I and the operators can truly work on is the system up and running and managing it from a few icons, dashboards that I need to manage, one, you need less people to do that, and you can have more people really working on how to make that customer experience the best it can possibly be, or making that team member experience the best it can possibly be. Having that business to concentrate on, how can I really beat out my competition with something better? Or how can I, instead of thinking about the competition, think about the customer and say, how can I make that customer stickier for my business and be able to give them what they really want without them even asking? be able to project or plan or really think it through in a much more exciting way than what we do today. And I actually I believe if we're able to do all of this, you know, financial services as we know it today won't be the same. Because we are we're about a lot of information that we can provide to that customer in a different way. So yeah, I take care of their finances, but I'm also taking care of their life. So is DevOps that solution, bringing the two together to, to come under one window? I think it's a part of the solution. I also think it's about how we think about bringing these things together. I think, it's, I think it also requires us to think differently about the products and services that we purchase from vendors in that it's not about taking a product that I purchased and then customizing it to the nth degree. It may be taking that product for what it is and then maybe finding what is my secret sauce that I need to add to the mix that I control. But I've taken this just as it is because quite frankly a lot of those vendors are going to put their stuff in the cloud and it's going to be what you get from the cloud and you don't get to t go tinker with it <laughs> anymore as we used to. And you have your pieces that you figure out what's really making me special in this marketplace and what do I really need to control and how do I do that 
technical term, with APIs to allow me to do what I need to do and allow my, my customer base to do what it needs to do as a function of this new ecosystem that we've created. Great. Thank okay. you, Sherry. You're very welcome. One more question. Oh, okay. Just a simple one. Okay. What do you think of the event today? Oh, I think it's great. You know, I must have thought, at first I thought, oh, it's starting off really slow. And then my room started filling up with people, and I had people talking to me. I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. And as you said to me when, you first, when I first sat down, you said, the dynamics of this conference has changed. And I think that's an implication of how the world is changing around us in terms of how we're going to do things. I think it's going to become more of an ecosystem that works together as opposed to, I work on this piece, you work on that piece, and the, never two, the, the two shall meet. <laughs> and DevOps, I think, is part of bringing it all together. That's great. I couldn't have written it. <laughs>